Hi guys and welcome back to uh, our playthrough of Beyond the Wall as a wildling. Now we obviously started off as a one county wildling and we've managed to expand into the King Beyond the Wall. Now we're trying to obviously invade the Night's Watch. This is going to take a while, um, we need a lot more men. <laughs> we could obviously use attrition on our side but even then I'd rather be safer than, than sorry. So we need to try and get some of my vassals to like me a bit more. Some of them don't like me much. So that's what we're trying to do at the moment, is try and get some more of my vassals to like me. Uh, maybe not the two old guys, they might die soon, so the two younger ones there. Get them on my side in the long term, uh, so we get more of their men, obviously. And we also need to try and create some chaos down south. Now, someone was saying, obviously, use my councillor to sow dissent down there. But, like I said, at the moment, I need to improve relations with my councillors. Um, but we need to wait for the perfect time. We need to wait. Um, we could probably take the Night's Watch on on their own. We could probably defeat them due to attrition and stuff. The main problem is if any of the Northern Lords, particularly the Umbars, the Mormonts, and the Karstarks join them, we're screwed. We are not in a good position. <laughs> so we definitely need to make sure something's going on down south uh, before we actually invade. But we need to make it soon. My guy's not a spring chicken. He's 38. Not He's not old either, but he's getting to that point now where we need to make a decision. Um, his wife has died, so I'm going to try and marry him as well. Might do that now, actually. Um, I want to marry him to a wildling. Like I said, I could marry him to, let's say, a Stark, and then try and get people to raise their arms for the Stark I've married. But I'm I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Firstly, we're going to try and take over the watch and get down south properly through invasion. If that doesn't work and it goes a bit, it goes very wrong, <laughs> and it seems like it will be impossible, I will then try and be sneaky with marriages and try and get some land down south. Uh, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. But at the moment, I'm going to do it properly. So we're going to marry wildlings. So I'm going to marry her. We're going to betroth to her. Okay, betroth to her. Um, I had a look at the wildlings a second ago, and she's like the oldest wildling girl who's not married. <laughs> and she's 11, so I'm going to have to marry her really if I'm going to have any kids. Now, also we got a problem with the succession. I put my daughter to be next in line, but I feel like obviously because of the elective succession and also the wildlings themselves, they go to the person, they want to have a leader who they all believe in, the one who's strongest, the one who's smartest, the one who's just great at everything. So I'm going to actually properly pick who I want to be next in line, rather than just try and make it my daughter. So let's have a look. Um, obviously not Munda. No way, we've banished her obviously. Tried to take my land. I think I'm going to go back to Dormund because you know, he's a formidable fighter, he's brave, he's kind. He's a bit stressed at the moment, but we'll see. Yeah, the others don't really stack up in comparison, I don't think. So I'm going to put him back as it. Hopefully they'll want to follow him, but let's, let's get the game going then. Need to mind my daughter off as well. Um, I need to send off my counts actually. Let's send in to improve relations somewhere. Where are you? White Tree. Is that, oh, that guy doesn't like me. Okay, you can stay in um, White Tree then. I'll stick there. I wouldn't mind also invading the Night's Watch while Bowen Marsh is in charge because he's not a great general. And next in line is a Willis Tyrell who is a great general, a great fighter. He'd be very formidable. But if we met Bowen Marsh, it would be much easier to capture him or kill him. So I'm hoping that we can do it while Bo Marsh is in charge. We'll have to wait and see though. Hopefully something down south happens. <laughs> I'm really hoping something does. But we need a lot more men. Oh wait, no, 1,800. Where the hell did that just pop from? Okay, we have a good chance. I know there's two. There's 2,000 mercenaries or wildlings, which we can all afford. So 2,000, 4,000. We've actually almost got enough. I've seen a few more of my vassals, um, my levies to raise up, or get a couple more of my vassals to join me. And then we just got to wait for something bad to happen down south, and it'll be the perfect. It'll be perfect. We could realistically take on the Night's Watch. Which I had my doubts to begin with. I, I will admit, I'll put my hands up, I did say that. I thought maybe we might not be able to do it. Oh, some little rebels. What are you guys doing? Okay, we'll get rid of them. Because, uh, yeah, he, he likes me okay. He's okay with me. I'd rather have him than someone who hates me. Takes so long to move anyone. I'm going to up the speed a bit. Try and get things moving along. Princess Munda for Beyond the Wall. But she has no claim. She has no claim. 
I died of depression, that's great. I don't like him anyway, he didn't like me, the Seal Skinner, so it's great that he's gone. It's working out quite well, actually. Take you guys back to the Fist of the First Man, who's now in charge? Oh, that's not the right one. It's this one. Lady Janella of Antler Vale. Now, she actually likes me a little bit, so that's quite good. And she's married to a White March. Okay. Nothing interesting. Oh, she has an eagle, apparently. That's pretty cool. Okay, nothing interesting, really. Lost a few men, actually, there. Huh. Something has to happen down south. Come on. Damn you, Robert Baratheon. You're holding your realm together way too well. You need to die or something. Oh, actually, he is stressed. And he's, a, and he's maimed. Ooh. We may see him suddenly die, which would be great for me. I could imagine things exploding when he dies. Chief Kyleg has told me a letter containing fabricated evidence of a plot to have him arrested and banished. I don't like you anyway, to be honest. Okay. By Valmar Sixkins. I quite like him, though. And he likes me a little bit. Huh. Okay. Yeah, can you, uh... I can't get you to end the plot. Okay. Huh. We'll, we'll let him off. I like six skins. We need him in the coming war, to be honest. Okay. That's great. Made him like me a bit more. There we go. It's now positive. He's got his own little black bear, which is quite nice. There we go. It's gone back up. I hate how long it takes for your own levies to raise. I mean, your vassals go up much quicker. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> don't even ask me why. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't even realise. I probably should marry my daughter to someone. Who can we marry her to? Someone matrilineal. Uh, again, I'm going to do it to a, a wildling because we want to... You know, I like to roleplay. What's the point of it? It'd be always the same. So let's try and find a nice wildling for you. Alice Castle likes to kill... She likes to kill me? What? What are you doing? God. What is wrong with her? End your plot, please. God, despicable that is. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, my daughter. Trying to marry her off. Now, what can we find? Okay, a wildling. Gendel, he's a family member, so probably not. Uh, Harl, yeah... Another family member. Here. Doesn't look very interesting either. None of them look very interesting. They're the only ones left, though. Um, he's 20. He's only t he's two years older. Let's go over him, then. He's all forative as well. It's better than nothing, to be honest. We'll give it to her, just in case we do decide to marry. You know, put her in charge, let's say. Vote for her. Ah, what a merry feast. Surrounded by my friends and loved ones. I feel a thirst coming on. Page more wine. Wait, this doesn't smell right, what? I could feel death breathing down my neck. Who would want me dead? I fear I shall never know. No, that damn car start girl. I just asked her to end that plot. I should have arrested her. I knew I should have arrested her. By the time my message got to her, I was already dead. Oh, oh I'm not dead. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not dead, okay. That's that's odd. Okay. Am I dead? What's going on? How am I not dead? I'm confused. Okay, apparently my message got to her just in time, but she was literally planning to kill me. That was close. Uh, maybe I should be careful with you. Any of your kids wargs? I don't think they were, were they? No, they were not. That's a shame. I'm not sure how much inheritance-wise Worgen is. Maybe it's not very much based on inheritance. Maybe it's quite random. Okay. Great. He likes me even more. That's great for us. We're actually in a good position, actually. I probably would be happy to declare war now. Um, okay, I'm going to change my guy to go somewhere else to talk to someone. Let's see my vassals. Opinion... Okay, Kylie is still the most, but he's very young. Uh, Skirland Pass. Ooh, she doesn't like me. Let's go with her, then. 
She's my wife as well. <laughs> skill and pass. Let's get a skill and pass then. She's probably going to be the lord of that place for quite a while. So it'd be good to get on our side. But yeah, I just need something to happen in the south. It's really frustrating the fact that everything's based on that. And I'm still confused why I'm not dead. It must have been bad wine. I'll just put it down to that. We'll just say it was bad wine. I had a, I had a bit of a bad wine. You know, it was a bit, meh. Yeah. Tasted poison. <laughs> it was not poison. Yeah. Something like that. I, I have no idea. Maybe I do need to go so descent. Ooh, she married a Baratheon normally. A son to Robert Baratheon. Okay, so that means the Baratheons are going to inherit the north. Eddard Stark would be uh, very upset about that. I mean, obviously he likes the Baratheons. Died in an accident. Oh my god. They all died in accidents. Ah. Oh, apparently the Citadel sends ravens up to us. Even the wildlings, and tells us winter is over. <laughs> Maybe this is why this is a problem with the wildlings. I feel at the moment there's not there's not enough sort of events for them. There's a lot for let's say the Greyjoys and whatnot, but I feel like there's not enough for the wildlings. It'd be cool, let's say, if, you know, my guys looked up in the air and went, "Up, oh, looks like it's getting warmer," rather than a, a bird came from the citadel. Okay, so we can marry. Yeah, all's good. Hopefully you should give me maybe a couple of sons before I die. Uh, people respect wealth. Hmm. Yeah, it's everyone's concern. Okay. <laughs> Greedy bastard. She didn't give me much money at all. I probably should have looked at... Oh, she has loads of money. What the hell? God, what, what a greedy bitch. Definitely greedy. Host a wedding feast. How much does that cost? 200 gold. Um, I think not. I think not indeed. We can get 800 men just from Fen. That's pretty good, I have to admit. Even though, I think that's quite good. Yeah, we definitely should have enough. <laughs> oh, actually, the other thing I noticed before I started was... My wife, not not this, not my wife's pregnant. I'm just saying, oh, my wife's pregnant. That's great. Um, but also, Mance Raider is a uh, Lord of Brandon's gift. Which is not good for me, because when we fight them, he'll probably be on the front lines, and he's a very good fighter. So, uh, that's not but that's not great, but it's not terrible either. If it was a young Mance Raider, we'd be screwed, probably. Ah. Okay. Bowen's getting a little older. Oh yes, come on, die of depression, please Willis. Please die of depression. That'd be great for us. Heim Carhold. <laughs> That'd be great. But there's no way you could even take on the Iron Throne. God, imagine that. Okay. Try to have you assassinated. Ooh. No one likes uh, Kyleg, which is good because I don't like him either. But it's not good that he's trying to kill you, is it? Dalla. Not good at all. It's very, very bad. Um, yeah, I don't want to kill. I don't want to tell him to stop this plot. Do you know what, actually? This, we need to have balance and order in our realm at the moment. Even though I don't like Ty um, Kyleg, we need balance and order. The last thing we need is him rebelling. We'll lo he'll lose a load of men. We'll lose some men. It's not worth it. We need every man we can muster, basically. Okay. Yeah, we definitely have enough. I just... It's just the bloody other people. Do you know what? I'm going to send a... Okay. That has made her like me a bit. A bit better. Do you know what? I'm just going to send him down to sow descent Because we need them to do something. But the question is, where do I go, actually? That's actually, that's the first question. Where do I go? We've got the north. Oh, her husband died. Was slain by Lord Jorah the Bear in personal combat. Wow. Well, oh, but she's pregnant. Ooh. That's thrown her. 
that's thrown a bigger a big twist into the scenario. She's already pregnant. Maybe Jorah was trying to save the North from being inherited by the Baratheons. I have no idea. What are you doing, Jorah? Great, great fighter. I hope he's infirm. <laughs> he managed to beat him while he was infirm. That is great. Good going, Jorah. Okay, I guess we could do something in the North. Uh, Edmund Tully is quite... We could try and incite him. The Tully. I think the Starks are too friendly with the Baratheons. I don't think they'd ever revolt. Maybe the Veil, vale, actually. The Veil, vale, actually, I think would be the best choice. Maybe. Actually, when I checked earlier, an Aaron was married to the heir to the Iron Throne. So maybe not. Maybe the Riverlands, yes. Maybe the Riverlands. Or the Greyjoys. Pam went Donnell. Uh, Tyrion, Tyrion's son. He's gained, obviously, his genius trait. Great on him. Maybe we could incite him. I'm going to try and incite the Westlands, I think. Yep, he's too young. He he likes the Baratheons a lot. Do you know what? We're going to go with the Westlands. You've got a young, new guy there. He's Hand of the King. Um, very important, then. But he's young, and is he ambitious? Oops. Didn't mean to click that. Are you ambitious? Kind, just, charitable, gregarious, deceitful. Okay, he's deceitful. Maybe that will work in our favour. Let's send uh, someone there. Hopefully he can cause trouble between him and the king. Possibly. Hopefully. Oh, please, God, please. Everyone just fight. Oh, he died of stillborn. That's great. Um... Or Robert dies. I'm really waiting for one of those two things to happen. Either Robert dies, or someone just rebels. We could do a claim on the High Lords of Carhold. We'd never win there. Yes. Ooh, it worked. Okay. Good job, good job. Okay, found in a faction. Let's see what factions we've got. So we've got Lower Crown Authority, that is quite popular with the ones who don't like me much. Ooh, Valmed doesn't like me much even now. Damn it. That's not good. I want him to like me. The problem is I need to sow descent. So it's not... Uh... He's still only 51. He's still quite young, but he's maimed. I'm really hoping the maimed will come into effect soon. Or the stressed, or the drunkard, I don't know. My daughter just had a daughter. Great. I need you, Sixkins. Don't die or do anything stupid. We need you to lead the armies. Yep, he's definitely my best... Uh... Ooh, more... Wow. She's a genius. A skilled fighter. Wow. Wherever you come from. You're the child of... Hmm, two people that aren't even important at all. Wow. How did... Ah, oh, if I'd known she was about, I'd have married her. And she's pregnant. Her lover is... Okay, Harlan. Damn it, if I'd known she was about, I'd have married her myself. Damn. Uh, two people eloped. Oh, they both got eloped. <laughs> um... See, I'm patient and I'm a bit stressed out at the moment. Accept their marriage. He's, he's not... Oh, I didn't even see that rebellion. That's the problem with these little rebellions. They just pop out of nowhere. Because obviously they're they're not for against me. They're for that person in charge. So that it doesn't come up for me. And there we go. Easy peasy. I hope that makes them like you a bit more. I hope it does. Because that would sort of suck if it doesn't. You just saved them. Uh, nothing going on south still. Been, it's been peaceful basically the whole time we've been playing this. That, when does that happen? When is Westeros ever this peaceful? Ridiculous. It's like they're what they know that what I'm planning. <laughs> it's like they know that we're planning to invade the Night's Watch, and I'm just sat here waiting for the right time. Damn AI. They know what I'm doing. There's not much I can do. 
Just too weak to wait now. Oh, and he had the huge trait as well. That's a shame. Uh, poor Kalon. He was basically a huge baby. That was it. Ah, it's getting warmer. Great. Okay. Okay, lose Lord's Faction's losing ground. Okay, not what I want, but better than nothing. As long as he's causing problems, that's all great. Guess it doesn't really matter how he's doing it, as long as something happens. Ooh, his son turned out to be an okay fighter, actually. Skilled fighter. Not too bad. Okay. Who's your wife? Okay. Not sure what's going on. It's suddenly lagging for some reason. It doesn't usually do this. You usually have to be recording a while before it even starts doing that, but it looks okay now. Not sure what that was about. Let's have a look at his um, children again. And it's done it again. What the hell's going on? His other son's not. Yeah, his other son's not as good. And it's done it again. What the hell's going on? Okay, one second, guys. <laughs> 